It is time once again for another Monoprice Mod Mondays on the BB3D channel. This week, we are replacing the Y carriage on the Monoprice Maker Select Plus with something a lot sturdier. Stick around, I'll show you how it's done. I'm Brian, and you're watching BB3D. So why would you want to replace the Y carriage on the printer? Well, the stock carriage is made of a thin stamped metal and it's kind of easy to bend if you're a little too forceful when you're removing a print. And once that plate is bent, it becomes more difficult to level the bed. So we're going to replace that part with a nice thick aluminum plate. This is actually the same thickness as the heated bed on the printer. If you manage to warp this, it's probably time to enter some kind of athletic competition where you can really show off your strength. Okay, so how do we do this? Is it simply a matter of lifting up the heat bed, pulling the old part out, putting the new part in? Well, not quite. The power cable for the heated bed runs through a cutout in the Y carriage. So we're gonna have to go inside the printer and unplug that cable and probably cut a few zip ties along the way. But don't worry, it's pretty easy. I'll walk you through it. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, first things first. With the printer turned off and unplugged, we'll tip it back so we can get to its tender underbelly. Grab your hex driver and remove the six screws holding the bottom cover in place. Then set the bottom cover aside. Inside the printer, locate the hot bed connection. On this model, the wires are held in with screws, but on others, the connector unplugs, like the power supply cable. Let's loosen the screws so that these wires are free to move about the cabin. You'll also need to unplug the bed temperature sensor. Now with those cables free, we need to remove the zip ties holding this cable bundle together. We'll go ahead and clip those off and just toss them aside. With the printer back on its feet, look around the back of it. You'll see a zip tie that holds the heat bed cables in place. Let's go ahead and snip that and get rid of that zip tie. When we're putting the printer back together, replacing that zip tie is probably the trickiest thing we're gonna do. But for now, we'll go ahead and pull these cables out and then we'll set them aside. Now we can remove the adjuster nuts from the heat bed. Lift the heat bed up and you can see here where the cable comes through the Y carriage. Go ahead and pull the cable through. When we're putting it back together, we'll put the cable back through that spot. There are four bearing blocks here, 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 and here. And these screws connect the carriage to the belt. Remove all 18 of these screws and set them aside. Now we can remove the carriage. It'll lift right off. And we can install the new one in its place. Oh, and this part here that connects the carriage to the belt, we're gonna attach that first. Reach underneath the carriage to hold that part up. Then you can install the screws, but leave them loose. There you go. Also install the screws that hold the bearing blocks in place. And again, leave them loose. We need to make sure that the carriage is square to the frame. We'll make sure to get it squared up there. We can just check against the front. And then when it's square, we can tighten all the screws down. Very good. Now insert the heat bed wires through the opening in the carriage and then pull them through. Now, 
Then attach the bed adjustment nuts and tighten them all the way down. Feed the heat bed wires into the opening here to get them down inside the printer. Now it's time to reconnect the wires. Insert them into the connector and tighten the screws to hold them in place. Then Reconnect the bed temperature sensor as well. With that done, we need to rebundle the wires by the Y axis motor. Secure the wires with a zip tie and then trim off the excess. We also need to replace the zip tie which holds the heat bed cable in place. I've got a flashlight on the other side of the printer so you can see where it goes. Feed the zip tie through one of the two holes. Loop it around the heat bed cable and bring the zip tie back in through the other hole. Then start zipping the zip tie, but don't tighten it until you make sure you have enough slack on the heat bed cable so the bed can move fully to the front of the printer. Then, tighten the zip tie. Once it's tight, trim off the excess. Now we can reattach the bottom cover. Let's get it lined up. And we'll install the screws. Then we'll get the printer back on its feet. And we're going to confirm that the bed can move freely without binding on its cable. I'm glad it's working. I really don't want to take this thing apart again. With the Y carriage replaced, I have leveled the bed and I'm starting a calibration cube test print. We'll let that start and then we'll switch over to a time lapse. Well, here we are at the end of another Monoprice Mod Monday. You know, I hope that if you've been hesitant to modify your printer that you're starting to gain a little bit of confidence about doing things like this. As long as you're careful when you're working down inside the printer, everything should be fine. So now you've got a nice sturdy Y carriage on your printer. I've noticed that having done this mod, the bed seems to need less adjustment than it used to and I'm not having to level it as often. I like when things just work. Now it's time once again for me to say like, comment, share. Simple things like that really do help the channel, and comments are great. I, I need your feedback to know if the content that I'm creating is what you want to see. A link to the Y carriage is down in the description, and channel support links are down there as well if you want to help out a little bit more. If you haven't yet subscribed, please do so by clicking the BV3D icon right here. And over here is a video that YouTube thinks you might enjoy. That's it for this week. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm going to go print something cool, and I want you to do the same. See you in the next one.